finally tonight, our person of the week, an Olympic champion who won our respect and admiration for her many appearances on the medal stand. Well, now she's getting ready to top that act as one of the few mothers to compete against the world's best in the Olympics. I can't believe that I'm back here doing this again and, and there are times when I feel 40 and, and I feel like there's a piano on my back and I can't lift my arms up out of the pool and then there are times where I feel like I'm 20 and just flying through the water. Dara Torres was known as one of the best swimmers in the world at her first Olympics in 1984. Dara Torres she won gold. She's earned eight more medals at three more Olympics and though she retired after the Sydney Games in 2000. It's a great way to end my career. She may not have hung up her goggles just yet. From the moment I decided I wanted to make this come back, I've always thought positive about it. I think I have a real good shot at making the Olympic team. If she makes the team, she will be 41 years old, the oldest Olympic swimmer ever. Dara Torres has to be our top story here. This month, old, just 15 really months say. after the birth of her daughter, Tessa, Torres competed at the U.S. Nationals. I walked on the deck and I thought, oh my gosh, these kids are so young. I mean, I'm about as old as a lot of their parents. Good start there by Torres. I really felt like I was going to throw up before my first race. Like, like I felt like I was 13 again going to my first Nationals. Dara Torres! 54, 45! She got over her nerves and won twice and broke a record. A new American record for Dara Torres! When Torres was pregnant, her doctor suggested swimming to stay in shape. Once back in the pool, she didn't want to get out. I was swimming on the Masters team and I'd find myself racing the Masters swimmers. I'm like, okay, dear, you have to calm down. You know, you have a baby inside of you. You can't be racing them. And so the competitiveness really never goes away. Torres is 10 pounds lighter since she last competed and more flexible since Tessa's birth. But training a 40-year-old body is very different from training a teenager's. And because my recovery is not as fast as it was. I don't do as much training as I did. I swim about five days a week, one workout a day. Working out, she no longer lifts heavy weights, focusing instead on building core muscle strength. And her full-time stretching trainer God, so good. works on Torres every day. On her off days, the former model can be found posing for Speedo or doing magazine spreads for the likes of Women's Health. Beautiful. It's a nice feeling when, when someone my age comes up to me and says, gosh, you know, you're really inspiring me to get back into doing this or get back into doing that. And so in that sense, it, it's, it's nice to be the age that I am and going for a fifth Olympics and hopefully opening the doors for other people who maybe have put an age limit on their dreams. And so we choose Dara Torres. She told us that while she used to swim for herself, she now swims for her daughter.